Hey, I'm Brian Cohn of Beat Cone Knives. Today, we're gonna add some copper and brass to my rock tumbling system to get some really cool effects. Let's get into it. Starting off this video, I am cutting up some brass and copper into little itty bitty bits on the bandsaw to add to my rock tumbling system. If you haven't seen this rock tumbling system before, check out the video in the corner. I'll put it up in the eye and you can watch me build this rock tumbling system. It works really, really good. But basically, I've heard that if you add copper and brass to the tumbling system, it will add a really cool effect to the knives. After cutting up all of that brass rod, this is all I ended up with after cutting up the rod and all of the brass scraps I had laying around the shop. And honestly, I think I lost about half of the rod that I cut just because it was jumping all over the shop. If you do this project, please be smarter than me and set up a better collection system because losing half is ridiculous. I'm going to go ahead and get one of the tumbling tubes ready and dump this all in. If you're enjoying this video or want to see more experiments with this rock tumbling system, please go ahead and subscribe. Only about 5% of the people who watch my videos actually take that step, and I would really appreciate if you're among those 5%. Thank you, guys. And here's the three feet of copper rod that I just cut up. I took a lot more time, and I think I caught a bit more of the copper than I did the brass. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get it in the tube. As you can see, I now have a tube that has brass pieces and a tube that has copper pieces along with the tumbling media. If you check out the eye in the corner right there, you will see the full build video for my rock tumbling system and you can see how this was all made. Now I'm going to grind up these two knives and get them in the tumbling system so you can see what it does to a finished knife. I am really happy with how the grinds turned out on both of these. Uh, they're both nice and satin, and I spent a lot of time to make sure that that finish was nice on both of them. I also did a slight test between leaving the bevel line on this one and rolling it away like I do sometimes on some of my knives. So this will delineate which one of those looks best with the tumble finish with the rock tumbler. Um, First, I'm going to need to dunk these in acid. So I'm going to dunk both of these in the acid for an hour and then in the coffee for a, um, at least overnight and possibly for a couple days to make sure the acid etch is really dark on both of them. So when I tumble them, I get that nice acid wash finish along with the copper on one and the bronze on the other. I think this is going to be a really cool test. Let's dunk them in the acid. After 24 hours in the coffee etch, I'm incredibly pleased with just how dark these things got. This is a perfect test for the, not only the tumbling system, but for the brass and the copper in the tumbling system to see what that looks like on this thing. It's also going to be really cool to see what the difference is between the um, grind line staying there and kind of how I normally wash out that grind line. Um, I think that's going to be a really cool test, uh, the, the copper and the brass being the test. Man, we should just go ahead, let me shut up and get this thing set up so we can get these things tumbling. As you can see with this experiment, I am going through a lot of rubber bands. Now those are sacrificial and very, very cheap, which is why I chose them because they can break and honestly an entire bag is only like two bucks, so screw them, let them break. After 30 minutes of running this brass experiment, let's see what this looks like compared to what I've already done so far. So just a refresher, this is what it looks like without the tumble. So you can see the flat black all the way around. This one hasn't been tumbled yet. 
as you saw in a prior video, this is what they look like once they tumble in just regular, no brass added. This is what the trumble looks like. And that's what it looks like on the forge texture. Love the way that this one turns out. Really love the way that this one turns out. So let's go ahead and get this one out of the tube. Let's see if I get lucky and see if it's right here at the end. I don't see it. So let's go ahead and get dumping. You can see a bunch of that brass in there. There it is. All right. Huh. Let me go ahead and clear this off real quick. So this is what it looks like after a half an hour tumbling in brass and the media. So closest comparison would be this one. And I do not at first pass see much of a difference. Actually, I see absolutely no difference between the two. Um, hmm. This is surprising because I was told that if you tumble with brass and you, as you can see back there, there is a significant amount of brass in this, in this media. So I do not see much of a difference. Let's go ahead and get the copper tube running with this one and see if copper actually wears off on it. Well, here goes nothing. I'm not gonna lie, I was super disappointed with the brass tube. It did not really impart much brass, or I don't really think it imparted any brass onto the steel. So maybe this copper, because it's softer, it might do a little bit more, but cross your fingers. Let's go ahead and get this thing opened and see what it looks like. Quick reminder, so this is what the steel looks like, just straight tumbled in media by itself. This is what it looks like tumbled in media and brass. And honestly, I don't know about you, but I do not see a difference between those two. Definitely not worth um, a whole separate tube for brass. Here's the, the forge texture, which I really like and definitely something I will be doing in the future. So let's go ahead and get this thing opened. See what it looks like. Yeah, uh, absolutely same result. My goodness, if you could, if I could put this behind my back and flip them back and forth and bring them out, there is no way that you would be able to tell one from the other because that looks like a failure. Honestly, um, I love the tumble look on it. The tumble looks great. The brass and the bronze, or the brass and the copper did not impart anything to these things so hey not everything is going to be a success that answers the question should you add brass or copper to your tumbling media to impart some sort of a color to your steel that would be a no because i let these things tumble in it for 30 whole minutes a half an hour and it made no difference at all so just because this video was a fail and it showed that it really didn't make a difference doesn't mean you guys shouldn't uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Throw some comments down below. What did I do wrong? What could I do different to make this thing better? I'm going to keep those tubes around. Hey, I might do a couple other things, see if I can make something cool out of it, but it doesn't look like it's going to work for specifically acid wash knives. Like I said, please go ahead and check out my Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok pages. Like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps a lot for my channel. I appreciate you all. Have a great rest of your day.